Welcome to another video, in which I want to present you my 2023 guide for the Advanced Combat Tracker. Yes, that godforsaken tool that many Final Fantasy XIV players use to measure sizes of certain parts of their bodies, but also to improve their own gameplay, so a very handy tool if you ask me. Recently some things have changed in the process of the installation of ACT or how it interacts with game data, so this video here shall serve as an update and like in every major ACT guide on my channel, I want to highlight another plugin skin called Ember or Ember Overlay that my friend Macy told me about and that is the most detailed version of a plugin I have yet seen. But of course, before starting with the installation, note that ACT is technically against the terms of service of Final Fantasy XIV. But as a rule of thumb, if you don't publish any data about it or don't harass other players with the numbers you're reading out, I haven't heard of a single case where someone got banned for simply using ACT. To start with the installation, just simply download the application file from the official website, whose link can be found in the description. And to avoid potential problems since patch 6.3, make sure that Final Fantasy is already running and you're already logged in, even though there's a fix for that problem later. Afterwards, just install the ACT file as an administrator and select the folder in which you want it installed. In my case, I created the Advanced Combat Tracker folder inside of the Final Fantasy XIV installation path, basically to keep things together, but you can place it anywhere on your computer. And about that administrator thing, you should always start ACT as an administrator whenever you're using it, to avoid trouble with the administrator rights or the like. Therefore, right-click on the application or the shortcut and then on Properties, then navigate to Compatibility and check the box Run this program as an administrator. Then finish that process by clicking Apply and OK. Now every time you open ACT, it will ask you for administrator permissions, which might work without those but better safe than sorry, right? So back to the setup in which you want to follow the startup wizard doing its magic. So go to the parsing plugin and let it preload the required files for the Final Fantasy XIV plugin. Here you can see a couple of info about Ravan, the creator of the tool, and when the plugin has last been modified. Here click on download and enable and when it finished click on OK, then on next and yes another time. Then you can check the box for auto load recently changed log files to avoid issues in certain scenarios. Then click on next again and close the wizard. Now go back to the advanced combat tracker window and navigate towards the plugin section. Then on the right side of the whole frame, click on the blue Get Plugins button, which will open up another sub-menu that shows every ACT connected plugin available. Here we want the number 86, the overlay plugin. Let it download and initialize itself. And afterwards we have to go to the Skin Overlay section by first clicking on the Overlay Plugin.dll tab, just below the main menu Plugins, and here we have to navigate to the New button. Now a new window will pop up called Create New Overlay and here you have another selection of skins that you want to enable. This time we're trying out the very detailed and clean looking Ember Overlay, so that is what we're selecting. For the one I'm using in my videos you have to select Mopi Mopi, but more to that later. As you can already see the new Ember skin pops up, but you can give it a fitting name to not get confused when you use multiple skins. Another thing, if I'm informed correctly, the firewall exceptions are automatically created or the ACT is telling your firewall now to not block data traffic between the game and the application. But if you have any issues in receiving combat data, just follow the steps as seen on the screen and add rules for the ACT application in your firewall settings. Alright, now all is set up and you're ready to test if combat data is received. Even though I started the game before the installation process, I had trouble getting some combat data. If you don't get data either and checked all the troubleshooting boxes from before too, navigate to Plugins and to the FFX IV ACT plugin and check the box for Inject and use Deucalion for network data. If then, you still don't receive any combat numbers when attacking an enemy, you either have to redo the whole installation process by uninstalling ACT or for the second possibility, there might have been a big Final Fantasy patch that came out some days ago, which means if you install ACT right after a major patch, it will take a while until Ravan updates the Final Fantasy XIV plugin, so be patient or visit the official ACT Discord to get the beta plugin or info about development status. Just don't be this guy, please. Instead, share a tip with Ravan and the other founders of the Advanced Combat Tracker, as they are doing the hard work every patch so that we players are able to parse and optimize our DPS properly. So a big shout out to all people involved in the development and maintenance of ACT. 
Okay, now when data is being received, let's check out the skin customization a bit. As the Ember overlay is heavily complex and customizable, I highly recommend to just try out things for yourself, to make it fit to your interface and setup. But even from the first glimpse, you can see the benefits of this skin. Very nicely expandable and detailed for all the info you want and need. Just click on that settings wheel and you will find important adjustment features like size or font, but basically all UI elements can be changed. So definitely try out what fits best for you. The small menu can also just be dragged and resized by clicking on it, or you can minimize the overlay by clicking on these little dots. But of course, if you're like me and want it as simple as it can be, go back to ACT and select the Mopi Mopi overlay, which is the one I'm using in my videos. As the style I'm using is a bit complicated to set up, let's go through this again. First you want to change the language of Mopi Mopi to English if you're not fluent in Japanese. Therefore follow the exact steps like you can see on the screen or just click on English on the main window on the startup. Now navigate to management tools in which you want to insert the code I'm providing as a pastebin link in the description. So click on that link, select the whole text up to the bottom and click on Ctrl C or right click copy. Then go back to Mopi Mopi and insert that code by clicking Ctrl V. If no code is inserted, make sure that ACT is in focus, not Final Fantasy XIV. When the code is being displayed, click on the arrow afterwards. Now navigate back to design and click onto raid mode. The trick here is that the default only works for 10 people and it cannot be saved inside the code. And as you might want to receive combat data when being on your own too, click on that one button to activate that. Don't worry, the window will still transform into the right design once you receive combat data and if you followed every step correctly. If scaling or visibility are not how you like them to be, make sure to customize settings accordingly, as I really went all in on the minimalistic design for my videos. Alright, we reached the end of the standard ACT setup, but if you want to know more, especially if you want ACT being treated like a true native Final Fantasy UI element, check out my video about the Browsing Way plugin and how you can set it to enhance your G-Sync or full screen experience while still using ACT properly. Or my personal biggest benefit, having G-Shade effect ACT as well. Just remember that this requires a little more effort and is a bit more TOS problematic, so only use that with caution. Apart from that, if you want the same rotation plugin that you can see in my rotation and power test videos, check out the skill display video found in the description as well. Okay, that's it for ACT on this year and I hope that this guide will last a while. But if you still run into any issues or new problems come to light, let me know in the comment section or check out the other ACT videos or visit the before mentioned ACT Discord server. Thank you all for watching and again big thanks to the devs of ACT. Happy parsing and until next time, stay safe, stay healthy and don't talk about the Fight Club. I'll say live is actually pretty good, you know, luckily Yoshi P still get me uh, a streaming setup in jail and Yoshi every now and then also came to visit me. So hey, thanks Yoshi P, Merry Christmas.